Welcome back everybody, it's Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. Thanks for coming back everybody. Great to see you here and today we're going to have another little treat for you in a long series of reliable BMWs. You guys have been asking for the best cars available on the used car market. Well today we're going to talk about the best, most reliable 5 series BMWs available today. The focus today is not the fastest car, it's not the cheapest car, it's the most reliable car. Now let's get started. The first one happens to be the 2010 to 2011 F10, but it's the 528i specifically. Because if you go a year newer, all of a sudden BMW switched things up and they use the turbocharged four cylinder motor. But in these particular cars, in these two generation, in this generation, those two years still feature the inline six engine. This still features the N52 or N53 inline six normally aspirated motor, depending on if you're talking the European version or the Canadian US version, they are very close in design. The European version produces 255 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque, while the Canadian or US market version produces 240 horsepower with about 221 pound-feet of torque. Both engines either way create a very lively driving experience, so performance isn't necessarily something you've given up, but these engines have a long record of reliability associated with them. While they're not flawless, they are a very, very sturdy design. The second most reliable vehicle in the 5 Series models goes to the E39 525i. Now why is that such a great car? Well again, we talk about it's the good old fashioned inline 6. The 2.5 liter inline 6 engine that's been known for its reliability. This is actually the M54 B25 engine that has been around for a while. And if I can make a recommendation, I would say stick with the 2001 to 2003 model years because that car also went through the life cycle impulse or the LCI updates. So it was a little bit updated in terms of the overall styling. It was a prettier car, but it went through all the more recent changes. But it still maintained that overall reliable 2.5 liter inline 6 engine that produced 189 horsepower and 181 foot-pounds of torque which was more than enough to light up your day. It had a revised intake, used a fully electronic throttle with no mechanical backup, an aluminum block and aluminum heads, which was very important as these cars developed. They become a little bit lighter and a little bit more reliable. It also had a 6500 RPM redline and the dual Vanos. Now the Vanos, of course, variable valve timing, creates a more drivable car through the rev range because you're varying the timing of the car. That would be the only part of the engine that is a little bit more maintenance intensive. But again, overall, this two and a half liter inline six is a very, very reliable machine. Now my third choice goes to a little bit older car. It's the E34 525 IX. And why is this car so special? Well, firstly, understand it is the two and a half liter inline six engine this one did not use the double Vanos yet, but what's special is this car was produced in relatively no low numbers in around the tune of under 10,000 cars for the year, but it was the first car and only model in that 5 Series that utilized all-wheel drive, which was a great thing to have for those people that wanted the extra traction for poor road conditions, maybe living further in the north, they found this very, very practical. It wasn't an intrusive setup. It wasn't a particularly unreliable setup. And overall, if I can suggest the 92 to 96 model years for this car is where you want to be. So this was the M50 B25 engine. So the B25 being the two and a half liters, but the M50 motor, which was an iron block, single overhead cam engine, two and a half liter inline six that utilized knock sensing, plastic intake with 10 and a half to one compression ratio and a 6,500 RPM red line. It was still able to muster up 189 horsepower and about 180 pound feet of torque. Now the fourth one on my selection or on my list happens to be the E39 540i. Now who said every car that has to be reliable also has to be slow? 
And this is a great example of that because the 540 was built between 1995 and 2003 and actually utilized the 4.4 liter V8 engine that produced 282 horsepower and about 320 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you coupled this with a manual gearbox, you had a car that was very, very comparable to the M5 of the E39 generation, minus some of the other reliability concerns that you would have with the M5. The 540 was a more practical version of an M5 and was, how we say, detuned possibly. It was an entirely different engine, but it really, it was largely a performance car. That being said, other than typical things like water pumps and the odd leaky item, you know, it was actually a very reliable car. Yeah, now because they're getting older, you're gonna find more issues in the suspension and bushings and struts and water pumps and leaky valve cover gaskets. Pretty routine stuff, typical BMW, but overall for a performance car, it was very reliable. Now you have to understand some of these E39 cars were built in Germany, some were built in Russia, and some were built in Mexico. So take that for what it's worth. But anyway, either way, my recommendation for number four is the 540i with a manual transmission. And so my fifth choice goes out to a 2007 E60 528i. While generally speaking, the E60s weren't the most reliable generation of all the 5 Series cars that BMW has ever produced, the 528 brings back a touch of practicality as well as reliability to the whole line. If you want reliability, my recommendation is stay away from the diesels, stay away from the M5, and even stay away from anything of the larger V8s or the 535 with the wonderful N54 motor that had a host of issues for reliability. Stay away from those. If you want reliability, you like the Chris Bangle era by the 528i. It was a very straightforward engine that produced 240 horsepower and about 230 pound-feet of torque. Of course, it was a normally aspirated inline six, but it was so far refined already, it was a great crisp performing engine with large amounts of reliability still associated with it. Now understand the early generations, the reason I would say go with the later the better, 2007 to 2010 of the M52 B30 engines, the reason I say go with the later stuff is because the earlier ones, there were some lifter related issues in the engine due to the head design in the engine. It basically had some lifter problems and you don't want engine issues of any sort. Outside of that, the later models of this engine design were improved and overall this car, the 528i and the E60 was a very reliable late model BMW that you can enjoy and not have to worry about a lot of issues along the way. So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed that latest list. That is my top five rounding off of the most reliable five series cars that you can find on the used car market today. If in fact you realize that maybe the five series isn't for you because of course, some people like the smaller, sportier cars. Of course, I created videos for the most and least reliable three series cars available as well. But hey, if you guys have any other ideas or any other recommendations, love to hear it below in the comment section below. Please share that with me so all the other readers and watchers can certainly capitalize on some of those benefits. Thanks again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll talk to you real soon. See you then. Bye-bye.